Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Lalit Doshi Memorial Foundation, I have great pleasure in welcoming you to this annual event, the Lalit Doshi Memorial Lecture. As a sign of respect for the event and the speakers, I request all of you to kindly switch off your mobile phones, or you may put them on silent mode. Please. Thank you. The annual Lalit Doshi Memorial Lecture is held in memory of Lalit Doshi, IAS, who at the age of 52 passed away very suddenly, participating in the World Economic Forum at Davos, Switzerland in January 1994. I will now introduce you to the distinguished persons on the days today. From the far end, Dr. Bhushan A. Gagarani, CEO Maharashtra Industrial Development Corporation, MIDC. Mrs. Pratima L. Doshi, Chairperson of the Foundation. Mr. Jageshwar Saharia, just retired Chief Secretary to Government of Maharashtra. Mr. Saharia demitted office of Chief Secretary just 10 days ago after a distinguished career spanning over three and a half decades. He will be presiding over today's function. Dr. Raghuram Rajan, Governor, Reserve Bank of India, our honored speaker today. Mr. Swadheen Shatriya is the new Chief Secretary to the Government of Maharashtra. Mr. Shatriya took over from Mr. Saharia as Chief Secretary on 31st July 2014. He is our honored special guest today. Mr. Arun Bongirwar, Trustee of the Foundation and former Chief Secretary to Government of Maharashtra. And Mr. Bharat Doshi, Trustee of the Foundation. Mrs. Hemal Asher, daughter of late Lalit and Mrs. Pratima Doshi, will greet our chief guest, Dr. Raghuram Rajan, with flowers. <laughs> Mr. Arun Bongirwar will now deliver the welcome address. Mrs. <coughs> Pratima Doshi, Chairperson of the Foundation, our honored guest, Governor of Reserve Bank, Dr. Rajan, my colleagues, Saharia, Kshatriya, Mushanga Grani, and my colleague on the Trust, Mr. Bharat Doshi, friends and admirers of late Lalit Doshi. Today, we are 20 years old. Over the years, this lecture series has got recognition, has got reputation, and has got appreciation by people like you in the audience. This is only because we have matured. You will ask me what do you mean by maturity. I will explain to you because this, this lecture series we are organizing religiously in the first fortnight of August, preferably near Lali's birthday. We start in time, you must have seen we start in time. And the most important thing that has happened is we have been, attract, we have been able to attract important personalities as our guest speakers. This happens because whenever I and Bharat approach the possible speaker, we tell him that this lecture series is in honor of Lalit Doshi. We explain what Lalit was. Most of the guest speakers knew Lalit. We, we tell him that he was a great human being and a super bureaucrat, if I can use that word. Very sharp, very intelligent, immediately was prepared to grasp anything. And most important, but not the least important, is his desire to deliver, which is a thing which is found wanting in many bureaucrats today, but he would deliver. And deliver in, deliver in whose favor? In, for the general good of the society. So that was Dalit Doshi. So whenever we say that, sir, we are organizing this lecture series for late Dalit Doshi, people gladly accept this. The foundation has been also doing some other work in his uh, primary school in Kutch. We have started some scholarships 
in St. Xavier's College where he did his graduation, we have an elocution competition. And from the foundation every year, we distribute scholarships for needy boys. We also give medical aid to needy persons. That is what foundation is. I had nothing much to add. You all know about Lalit, but I thought I must tell you that we have grown 20 years old today. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I will now request Mr. Paradoshi to introduce to us our speaker for today, Dr. Raghuram Rajan. Good evening, friends. It's my privilege and honor today to introduce Dr. Raghuram Rajan, Governor of Reserve Bank of India, on the occasion of the annual Lalit Doshi Memorial Lecture, 20th in the series. Sir, I thank you for remembering your commitment which you made last year and agreeing without a moment's hesitation to deliver the 20th Lalit Doshi Memorial Lecture within a year within a year of your taking over as Governor of the Reserve Bank of India. Sir, we are honored. While introducing our distinguished speakers, rather than reading out their resumes, I prefer to blend the generally known achievements with some lesser known insights and aspects. I thank you again for giving me 15 minutes of a personal chat, a time for a personal chat which added to this introduction. When Dr. Raghuram Rajan took over as Governor of Reserve Bank of India, the rupee was plunging, current account deficit all time high, Indian economy facing its worst ever crisis in 20 years. He arrived like a superman, I'm not imagining. He arrived like a superman, took several actions which resulted in the rupee stabilizing to 61 within a month and the storm subsiding. But while what, what impressed me most was while taking over, he had conveyed that some of the actions he will take will not be popular. He said that the governorship of the central bank is not meant to win votes or Facebook likes, but he hoped to do the right things no matter what the criticism, criticism, even while looking to learn from the criticism. Today, Dr. Rajan, an economist, a dynamic thinker, a central banker, and a champion of financial sector reforms, is one of the most keenly looked up to, analyzed, commented upon, and even criticized individual. Born in 1963 in the city of Bhopal, son of a former distinguished senior government official, Mr. R. Govind Rajan. Dr. Rajan spent his primary years mostly overseas, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Belgium, due to his father's postings. After his return to India, he attained his B.Tech degree from IIT and then an IIM Ahmedabad uh, management degree and received his PhD in management from, the M from MIT in 1991 for his thesis titled Essays on Banking. There is a general feeling that Indians have a tendency to hold gold. Dr. Rajan is no exception. He secured the Director's Gold Medal for all round performance at IIT Delhi. <laughs> and not being satisfied, he went ahead and secured the Gold Medal for academic performance at IIM Ahmedabad. He started his career at Chicago University as an assistant professor. In 1996, he was appointed as a visiting professor of Stockholm School of Economics and Kellogg School in Northwestern University. He became the economic counselor and director of research, chief economist of the International Monetary Fund in September 2003, the youngest ever to be appointed to that post. There's a whole list of awards. I mean, it's at the back of this. But there's a whole list of awards. So when I met him last month, I asked him, 
Sir, which of these awards you covet the most? And he immediately responded, the Fisher Black Prize, which he received in the same year when he joined IMF. The Fisher Black Prize by the American Finance Association is given every two years to the financial economist under the age of 40 for his contribution to theory and practice of finance. Dr. Rajan was the first recipient of that award in 2003. He believes, and it is written at many places, that academic and research work should, should be given great importance. And his belief led to his setting up in IMF a strong research wing. He attained, of course, the global recognition for his prediction of the 2008 global financial crisis. During a 2005 conference to honor Alan Greenspan, who was about to retire as chairman of the US Federal Reserve, he delivered a controversial paper that was critical of the financial sector. Title, Has Financial Development Made the World Riskier? Dr. Rajan argued and stated that disaster might loom. This 2005 paper shook the entire economic world and there was a sharp negative response. Subsequently, he wrote the famed acclaimed book, Fault Lines, How Hidden Fractures Still Threaten the World Economy which was awarded the Financial Times Goldman Sachs Prize for the Best Business Book 2010. Sir, again I noticed gold in golden, Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Dr. Rajan chaired a Government of India Committee on Financial Sector Reforms in 2008. There have been many committees since then, hence the to topic today covering achievements, prospects and challenges is very relevant. Financial sector reforms is a marathon task. But do you know, Dr. Rajan is a marathon runner, besides being a strong swimmer and a competitive squash and tennis player. Sir, I take the liberty of mentioning one more extracurricular activity of yours and repeat a quote of yours. I used to play banjo, and I used to be able to do the slow stuff. But when it got fast, I would play randomly, and for many years I got away. Sir, it is very unlikely that there will be any discordant beats or notes in the music you play today. Sir, earlier I talked about your quote on the Facebook likes. We are all looking forward to your lecture today, and I'm sure you will get an overwhelming Facebook likes from the fortunate audience present here today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Doshi. Today's chairman of the function, Mr. J.S. Saharia, will deliver his remarks. Please give him a warm welcome. <clears throat> Dr. Rajan, all the distinguished personalities on the dais, including Mrs. Doshi, Mr. Bongirwan, Mr. Bharat Doshi, my dear friend and my successor, Sri Swadhin Kshatriya, Sri Gagrani, <coughs> and all the distinguished invited guests for this wonderful evening, which we are going to witness shortly. As, a, as was mentioned a little earlier, I handed over the charge to the Chief Secretary about 10 days back, and Mr. Swadhin Shatri has taken over from me. When Mr. Bongirwar and Mr. Doshi came to me about four months back, I told them the same thing the first week of August, or first fortnight of August, I am not sure whether I'll be there or not. But they were kind enough, and they said that you have to preside over the function whether you remain the Chief Secretary or not, and I am thankful to them for being present on this fine evening and getting an opportunity to listen to Dr. Rajan. Dr. Rajan and myself are from the same institute. I have also done MBA from Ahmedabad and I had the opportunity of being felicitated along with him about four months back by IM Ahmedabad alumni in Bombay. <clears throat> I'm really happy and also proud that an alumnus from IM Ahmedabad has reached 
the chief position as the head of the central bank of this country. We all know that we are passing through very exciting times. Things are changing very rapidly, both in the political arena and in the economic sphere. I am sure the leadership which Dr. Rajan has provided will take our countries to the new heights, especially in opening up the sectors which we very badly require. I would not like to, <clears throat> to take much of your time. I would not like to be, um, uh, to, to be in between you and Dr. Rajan on this wonderful evening. The topic chosen today, financial sector reforms, achievements, prospects, and challenges, I think is a very tropical subject which will interest all of us. With these words, I would like to thank the uh, Lalit Doshi Foundation, trustees, and all the persons for inviting me and giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much.